Hey everyone, this is Joe, and I'm back on my holiday, and this is the first video I've done in about a week now. And it's not my Portsmouth, it's, this is a, another tactics video. And if you haven't seen my first one, it's my first one, I've put a link in the corner. And um, basically, uh, my first tactic video was a 433. But I got a comment from a guy who used my 433, and he said it, it, is, it did work well, but when he used... A championship team, it didn't really work as well. He wanted if there was another tactic, and there is. And I, um, this is a tactic I haven't used much, so I can't tell you whether it's reliable as the other one. I used the other one loads of times, but this one is a bit different. This is a lot more defensive, and basically, it's a 5 3 2 or 5 2 3, something like that. And it, it, it can work well, it you will not concede, you shouldn't concede as much as you do with the 4 3, three. but however, just be aware, you will not score as much. This is probably why I don't really use this tactic as much, but I, I have, when I did use it, it did work quite well, but this is pretty much it. Um, this is what it looks like, the actual tactic, it, it's, yeah, it's 5 2 three. You have three at the back, two left wing backs, and you still have two left wing uh, wingers, and you have the centre mid and the guy up front on his own, and you have the keeper. Yeah, that's quite important to keep the keeper. And you put the wingers as inside forward, if you see my first one, this is what I do use them as, as well. Uh, him as the attacking forward. This guy as the attacking playmaker, and you keep this guy as the box to box. And that's for the wing back, you put them as support. Yep. Support and um, basically that will help. They'll help out the wingers, but they will also do their job in in defence. That's why I would use this tactic. And just remember, remember you do keep put them as wing backs. You don't put them as like left back and right back. You do use them as that. And as for the middle defender, you put him as a stopper. And yeah, that's the tactic in that kind of way. You won't. You shouldn't concede as much. I mean, when I did use this team, um, it was. I was a team in the conference south or north, I can't remember what team it was, but yeah. And after 10 games, I only went about 10 games in that run through because I did, I, just, uh, I did something else. But I was undefeated, I think I'd only lost, I think, see, I think I lost one. But anyway, um, I conceded the least amount, I do remember that. And I do remember the fact this tactic, you will not concede as much. But I didn't score as much either, and I did get, you do get a few draws. But that's why I would recommend you playing, maybe the attacking for, oh, by the way, the philosophy, yeah. Uh, you have it, keep it as balanced, and I would use counter. You can use defensive as well. And um, as for team instructions, yeah, counter balanced. Uh, passing style is more direct. Uh, you press more and it's zonal marking and as for defensive line that's normal width is wide and tempo this is up to you um if you're in the lower leagues use normal because they can't really i think but if you're in a, a good team like my united or arsenal or like that you use quick i'd say but i probably wouldn't use this for a good good team anyway i think this is for one more team that's expected to lose most games but anyway, like I was saying, back on the subject, I only didn't use this tactic as much just because, really, it's not as exciting as the other one. And I think the other one, you do score more and it's more... Uh, but if you if you want to use this tactic when you're winning 2-0 or something like that in the game, just put this tactic on, you probably won't... You might, you might probably won't concede as much. And, yeah, I mean... That's probably a good idea to use it for. I don't really do that myself because I just like to keep it one tactic. I don't like to mess things up. But if if, this, if there's a game you go into, you expect it to lose quite heavily. I would say go defensive with the uh, not counter. But if it's a game they only just expected not to win, I would say you um, go counter because that way you probably will attack a little bit more than you would on defensive. That's probably doesn't sound good. Shit. Anyway, <laughs> um, yeah, just, and that's pretty much it. This I can't say whether it'll do you as good as the other one. The other one I've used a lot more. I've only used this one like a couple of times. So if it doesn't work for you, I am really sorry. But I, I, I have told you, I have warned you. I don't, I haven't used it as much. But I think you shouldn't concede as much. 
Honestly, if you do epically fail this, I am so sorry. Just tell, just in fact, comment me and tell me. Don't just slam my videos or all like that. Just tell me it's not really that working, and I'll and, and just I'll accept it. But it's just because I just it's only because a guy commented and said he wanted another tactic, and this is just another tactic I had in mind. Don't go all raging me if it doesn't work. But anyway, um, yeah. But let's be positive. I hope it does work. You know, I think it's a, a good defensive tactic, maybe you know, to use, and I think. You know, against the teams that should be better than you, it should work a lot better. But anyway, um, coming to the end now, this has been Joe. Uh, thanks for watching this video. I'm really sorry if this epically fails for you, but hopefully it won't. So, yeah, please like, subscribe to Mr. McWebby, and yeah, thanks for watching. Bye.